muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh. The muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh act on both the hip and the knee joints. Sartorius. It is the longest muscle in the body. It originates at the anterior superior iliac spine and upper half of the notch below it. It passes obliquely across the thigh to reach the posterior side of the lower end of the femur and is inserted in the upper part of the medial surface of the shaft of the tibia. Nerve supply is by the femoral nerve. Its actions are flexion at the hip and knee joint, abduction of the hip joint, and lateral rotation of the hip joint. Quadriceps femoris. The quadriceps femoris is the largest muscle in the body and is the main extensor of the knee joint. It consists of four different muscles, rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, and vastus medialis. Rectus femoris. It originates by two heads. Straight head originates at the upper part of the anterior inferior iliac spine of the ilium and the reflected head at the groove above the acetabulum and capsule of the hip joint. Insertion Both the heads meet and form an aponeurosis which extends down to form a flat tendon which is inserted into the base of the patella. A few fibers extend further down in front of the patella to form the patellar ligament. An important point to be noted here is that the rectus femoris crosses both the hip and knee joints. So in addition to extending the knee, it also flexes the hip. Vastus lateralis. It originates lateral lip of the linea aspera up till the mid femoral shaft, gluteal tuberosity, intermuscular septum, the upper part of the intertrochanteric line, greater trochanter, insertion. It ends in an aponeurosis which joins the quadriceps tendon to be inserted onto lateral two-third of the upper border of the patella, upper one-third of the lateral border of the patella. It also gives off a fibrous expansion known as the lateral patellar retinaculum which is attached to the lateral tibial condyle. Vastus medialis. It originates upper two-thirds of the medial supracondylar line, medial lip of the linea aspera, spiral line, the lower part of the intertrochanteric line. Insertion is at the medial one-third of the upper border of the patella and upper two-thirds of the medial border of the patella. It also gives off a fibrous expansion called the medial patellar retinaculum which is attached to the medial tibial condyle. Vastus intermedius. It originates at the anterior and lateral surfaces of the upper two-thirds of the femoral shaft. Insertion is at the upper border of the patella. Action of the quadriceps femoris. It is the main extensor of the knee joint. Nerve supply is by the femoral nerve. Articularis genu. It is considered to be a detached part of the vastus intermedius. It originates at the anterior surface of the lower part of the shaft of the femur. Insertion is at the suprapatellar bursa and upper part of the synovial membrane of the knee joint. Action It keeps the suprapatellar bursa in position during extension of the knee joint. Nerve supply is by the femoral nerve.